Hi everyone and welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making Asian ginger chicken and it is for the detox re um, recipes and diet but anyone can eat it. It's really good for you and it's delicious. Let's get started. So in a pan you're going to get one tablespoon of organic coconut oil. Okay, we're going to heat that up. I like medium. And you're going to want two organic chicken breasts. Uh, you know, rinse them and dry them. Okay. So I'm just going to let this melt. And then we're going to cook the chicken on medium high for three, two to three minutes on each side. And while that's cooking, uh, we'll make our sauce. Okay, my um, coconut oil is melted, so I'm gonna put my chicken breasts in. And we're gonna cook them two to three minutes on each side. Okay, so while that's going, let's start our um, sauce. So you're going to need three tablespoons of coconut amigo, aminos. This is like a soy sauce. Actually, I'm gonna set that timer back there so I make sure my chicken is cooked right. And then you're going to need one tablespoon of raw honey. Get all that honey out. Get a wash my hands. Okay. And then you're going to need two cloves of garlic mince. Three, uh, hold on one second. One teaspoon of fresh ginger. The garlic. Teaspoon of onion powder. And two tablespoons of fresh lime, organic lime juice. Okay, and then we're just going to mix that all together. We'll just kind of move this a little bit into the center of the pan. Let's mix this together. It smells so good, you guys. And then, I'm just going to, um, at the end, I'm going to chop up some green onion and um, put it on top. So I'll continue cooking the um, chicken and we'll be right back. All right, now it's been six minutes on my chicken and I'm turning it down to low. I only want it to simmer now. And I'm gonna add my um, sauce. Yeah. Put them all behind you. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's get all the sauce out. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pick up my chicken and get that sauce underneath my chicken. All right, and now we're just going to put this up to a simmer, and we're gonna simmer it for about five minutes or until the chicken's done. I, I just wanted to let you guys know that this chicken takes a lot longer on time than what is said on the recipe, 
what I do is what I did was I have this on low just to simmer you can just hear it simmering a little bit don't go really high this this um, sauce will burn but what I did was I set it for the first five minutes and after that five minutes I flipped it and then I let it cook a little bit longer or no I'm sorry I did two and a half minutes the first time flipped it and then two and a half minutes more that was the five minutes now what I'm doing is I'm just watching it and every like five to ten minutes or so I'm checking my temperature it should be between 160 and 165 you want it at 165 pull it at 160 and leave it covered for a few minutes to let those juices settle back into your meat and it'll bring it up to 165 and that's when it's good to eat chicken you have to cook your chicken really well but just be mindful of this sauce so it does not burn I have mine on like number three so I have it really low and it's still simmering so just take it slow and it doesn't say to cover it but I covered mine from the beginning because I want that juice to stay into my chicken and I think that if I don't cover it it's going to get pretty dried out all right, so here's our finished chicken. I went about 15 minutes longer on low and just watched it. Um, and the potato is an organic sweet potato that I baked. And the asparagus is organic and I just roasted it in the oven. And um, on our website, on our YouTube channel, um, uh, Jack and Cat Adventures, there is a recipe for this asparagus on there if you're looking for it. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you.